We start tonight in Springfield where a man was beaten and assaulted outside of a Fred Meyer. Thank you for joining us. I'm China Green. Now we want to warn you that some of the images in this story are graphic. And KEZI 9 News reporter Tyler Jones is in Springfield with an exclusive interview with the man that was assaulted as well as the woman that tried to save him. Tyler. China, it was right here on the east side of this Fred Meyer that a man said he walked out, started getting in his car, and then a couple jumped in and started beating him. All of a sudden, uh, Pastor Jor opens up and he comes flying in and starts swinging. The victim spoke to me exclusively and says the man then started choking him out. Before we show you his face, we want to warn you that what you're about to see is graphic and could be disturbing. He got, got me in a headlock, so he's behind my passenger or my driver's side seat and he's got me in a headlock and um, I, I pass out. As he's coming back around, Fleming says a woman was going through his pockets. And she's digging through all my stuff, digging through my pockets, uh, went through my wallet, uh, stole like $500, and um, uh, she's screaming at him, like, oh, money, let's go. But Fleming says the man wouldn't let up. I slip out of the headlock and get outside on the ground, and he comes out and is, uh, kicking, kicking me in the head and um, body and stuff, and then and they eventually take off and that couple only took off when they did because a good Samaritan stepped in to help out. But he just kept kicking him even though my presence was there. So I just started yelling at him and telling him to, you know, to get off him, to leave him alone. Clayton says when she saw what was happening, she had to step in. I don't, they kept kicking him, so I don't know what they would have done if, if someone would just ignored it. So I'm just glad that he listened and walked away. And Fleming says he couldn't be more grateful. This dude's like 6'2", at least 200 pounds, and, um, you know, uh, obviously violent. So, I mean, it's, you know, an older lady like that to just come out here and try to try to stop that was pretty cool. Police say they have a good idea of who these people are and are currently working on locating those two subjects. In Springfield, Tyler Jones, KEZI, 9 News.